Hey everybody, my name is John Crutch, your Myrtle Beach area preferred realtor with Coldwell Banker Shakora Advantage, and this is Home Talk with John. In this episode, we're going to talk about the November 2018 Market Minute, going over what happened in October of 2018 in the Myrtle Beach real estate market. Jumping right in. So if you remember, oh, wait, who's this? This is Frosty. This is about as hardcore as I can get about decorating before Thanksgiving for the holidays, but I wanted to throw the viewers a bone and show some holiday cheer. I digress. Going back into it, if you remember in October, last month at the Market Minute, we talked about what may happen because of Hurricane Florence. Now, we did see some of those numbers change and shift because of the hurricane, not necessarily in a negative way. Average sales price, MLS, that covers Ori in Georgetown County. MLS, $231,000 average sales price, up 9.3%. Myrtle Beach, anything with a Myrtle Beach address, Socastee, Forest Brook, Carolina Forest, City of Myrtle Beach, $228,000 average sale price, up 11%. Diving deeper down into the city limits of Myrtle Beach, $29,577, $244,000, up 29.6%. $29,572, the northern end of the city, $240,000, up 3.1%. Now, closed sales. This is where we saw some impact from Hurricane Florence. So what happened was, Hurricane Florence in September delayed some closings, the majority of those closings, from what I've talked to different agents about as well as clients, what they've seen and neighbors have seen is many of those closings just, they didn't stop completely. Some did, but they didn't stop completely. They just shifted over into October. So you're going to see some big numbers here. MLS, 1,364 closed sales in October, up 16.6% over last year. Myrtle Beach, 592 up 18.9%, 29577, 153 closed sales, up 7.7%, and 29572, 88, up 11.4%. Now, if you look at this, looking at these numbers, the MLS and Myrtle Beach have higher percentages. The MLS is going to cover places like Conway that were impacted, Socastee. Myrtle Beach addresses is also going to include Forest Brook areas, Socastee also, where there were several homes that were affected by these floods. Now, whether those were actually for sale homes or not, it's a different story, but there were some bound to be that were for sale that were affected. If you look at 29577 and 29572, smaller percentages, 7.4 and 11.4 respectively, um, those are smaller numbers in terms of up. They seem to be more accurate. The 16.6 and 18.9% of the MLS wide and Myrtle Beach areas, to me, shows that those areas were impacted, they were affected, they moved over from September to October. So it's good that those closings still happened. They weren't affected negatively long term, although from what I have heard, there were some homes that simply didn't close just because they were flooded so they couldn't close on time or necessarily at all. Now, some, another interesting stat is what you've seen is we were between a, uh, a 94, high 94 to 95, all the way up to 96 point something, um, going up to 97 percent of asking price. So that was selling, like we've talked about before, percent of asking price sold. So list price 100, sells for 97, that's 97 percent of asking price. In the past two months, if you remember, we've gone up. So we've gone from 96 to 98 percent between those two numbers. Now, interesting enough, it's actually shifted up a little bit more last month. So we're at 97.3 percent on average, somewhere between 97 and 97.6. Uh, and if I remember the other two were 97.1 and 97.2. So an average of about 97.3% of asking price. Market's ticking up slowly. Even though it's October, slow season is coming for the Myrtle Beach real estate market, typically January, February, but we're seeing that shift. I'm predicting we're still going to see numbers go up in terms of closing, in terms of price. Uh, we're just going to have to wait over the next couple of months and see. This has been John Crutch with your Myrtle Beach Market Minute on Home Talk with John. Hope you have a fantastic week. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Realtors from other areas, if you have any other questions about the market, feel free to reach out. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone.